Hey YouTube, so I didn't follow up on this like I did with my other surgery because this one was exponentially worse. Like, oh my god. Um, the surgery was Thursday the 9th and today is Sunday. So today's the 12th. So I haven't been able to open my eyes or do anything uh, since then. And all I can say is the first time around, I was up and walking and everything the next day and making food and just like I never had surgery, which is how I generally am anyway. Um, I'm, I mean, I've never had children or anything like that, so I don't know what childbirth is like. However, I have had quite a few other surgeries in my life where I have either um, toughed it out with not taking painkillers or, as far as dental surgeries, opted to not get Novocaine at all. And I was just fine. It's just pain for a second and then it goes away and you're a little sore and whatever. But this, the day that I got the surgery, I felt fine, went home about... 30 minutes into that, I was climbing the walls. It hurt so bad. And took three codeines and had a Valium in me. Um, two of them, actually, from the surgery. And took eight Advil, which at that point I was like, okay, nothing is working and I feel like I'm dying and I don't know what's going to happen. So when I went back in for a consultation, the next day, the follow-up, which the way I ended up going to sleep was taking a NyQuil um, to put me out of my misery. And I woke up the next day still in a good amount of pain, but nowhere near it. Um, and I'm a lot more sensitive to light, as you can see. Usually I was just wearing glasses, now I'm wearing a hat and glasses and uh, my blanket and I put it over my face and it's it's been interesting. Um, so I asked... Uh, Dr. Um, Montyala, what, what happened? And basically he said, since this is a revision, there was quite a bit of scar tissue that he had to go through, which no matter what kind of surgery it is, when you go through scar tissue, it's not going to be fun for anybody. Um, it's a pain in the ass for the doctor. It's not fun for the patient. Um, it can get messy. So I get it. I do. Um, so it was a few days of hell. Uh, I listened to my Audible book about the Cleveland abductions with Ariel Castro. Super interesting, by the way. Um, called The Lost Girls. It was really, really good. And it took me exactly three days to get through it. Between eating, taking pills, eye drops, all that stuff. Um, today I could finally open my eyes. My eyes are still swollen like crazy, which I don't remember that happening. But um, I can see. And even though it might be blurry with the bandage contact that they put on top, which is not clear, it's like whitish. I can see super high definition, so that's awesome. Um, I'm really excited about this. It, it was definitely a lot rougher the second time around, but it is worth it, as opposed to going through the pain the first time around and it didn't even work. So I hope no regressions in this uh, point. And it, it was just um, as rough as an experience as it was. I really hope that it is worth my while. And for all of you who are going through this out there, I mean, it does get better. Your eyesight's going to get better every day. I know this is like, you start thinking to yourself, why did I even do this? Why did I get involved in this? Who cares if I can't see? But think about it. You're so young. Or, well... I don't know, maybe not, but at least I think I am, you know, I'm in my mid thirties and I'm like, I'm so, I'm too young to not have a good quality of life. I still got a lot of spunk left in me. So, um, you know, I don't want to, to just not have the full potential of everything that I can have if I can give it to myself. So. I will catch up with you guys in a couple of days to let you know how it goes. They are going to be taking the bandage contact off to so see how that goes. There's usually a little bit of a regression with that and then it comes back. 
but so far it's been really good I do have to say um, and just the regular prednisone um, steroid drops the chobromycin antibiotic drops um, anesthetic drops because it's been hurting like hell and a ton of refresh drops like a ton literally have gone through two boxes and I got a really good tip put them in the refrigerator feels really good because your eyes are burning all right I'll update you guys soon.